Oh yeah, that guy came in hot. There we go. Another fish. That's a nice fish too. That's giving me a good fight right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let this guy fight. This is a nice fish. This is a nice fish. Oh yes, there we go. That's another walleye. Look at that guys. Another absolute beauty of a walleye. Welcome back to another Minnesota ice fishing video. We are fishing into a cold front tonight. It's 35 degrees right now, but in about six hours, it's gonna drop down to about 15. In another six hours, the high is gonna be negative one. It's gonna get very, very cold tonight, and we're gonna get hit with six inches of snow. These conditions are perfect for chasing after some walleye. I'm gonna hole hop for about 15, 20 minutes, try to find some walleye. I'm on a lake I've never fished before, so what I like to do with lakes I've never fished before is I pull up Navionics or pull up any kind of graph to see the depth, and I try to find drop-offs. Right now, we're gonna be sitting at a drop-off going from seven feet down to about 20. I'm gonna work this whole drop-off and try to find what depth these fish are at, and we're just gonna sit on top of them, throw up our tent, and we're gonna hopefully get into a lot of walleye tonight, or at least a few you. This will be the first time I've caught walleye this ice season. We've caught just about every other kind of fish, so it's time to chase some walleye. I'm sure we're going to get into some panfish as well tonight because this lake has got a lot of them. As always, stay tuned for some tips and tricks throughout the video. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get fishing. She is definitely not warm right now. A nice toasty four degrees real feel. Gotta love being out here. I got a nice warm tent over there all set up, but Gotta at least do a little hole hopping. See about finding some more fish here. Gloves would have been a nice touch, but mine are kind of wet from getting all the water out of here. We got a fish coming up right away. Come on, let's see it, buddy. Came in right away. Oh man, went right back down to the bottom. That's all right. That happens. Nothing we can really do about that. These fish are seem to be coming off the bottom. Anyway, I'm gonna work this water column just in case there's some suspended fish I'm not seeing here. What'd I say? What did I say right there? Suspended fish. He's coming in hot too. Fish on. Oh man, oh man. Good hit too, really good hit. Felt pretty, felt pretty nice there. Definitely a high suspended crappie. Good hit, swing and a miss. Hit him, got him for a second there. Felt decent. All right, that's all right. Can't win them all guys. Oh, here we go. This guy's coming in pretty hot here. I'm gonna keep jigging this spoon. He's gonna come up and eat it. Fish on. Oh, she feels a bit nicer. Maybe a big crappie. Oh, she is. Nice little slab crappie. Here she is, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. About 10, 11 incher. Nice little slab here. We've been out here for maybe five or 10 minutes outside and she came up, hit it pretty quick. She was suspended about, I don't know, I'd say 10 feet off the bottom. Ate it, and that's what I'm talking about. A little kiss for good luck. I mean, these guys are beautiful. I am gonna keep some of the bigger ones like this guy. I'm gonna have a little fish fry at home. So I do, uh, I do wanna keep some bigger crappie just to have something to eat, have a little fish tacos tonight, but I'm not gonna keep anything under 10 inches. I'm gonna throw this guy in the ice and we're gonna keep fishing. We are in even deeper water now. Yeah, we're sitting at about 20 feet now. We are sitting back there at about 13 or 14. So I'm gonna have to turn up the gain here. Oh, there's a fish that's suspended right there, but first I wanna check if maybe, maybe a walleye or something on the bottom here, cause I'd really like to get into a few walleye, maybe pull them off the bottom. If not, I can chase after those higher suspended fish, which are most likely just crappie. I'm kind of fishing the end of the drop off here. It starts back there a little bit before my tent and comes all the way up to right here. So we got about 100 feet of a drop off and I'm fishing at the end, sitting at 19, 20 feet of water. It's about where it ends. All right, it's been about 10 minutes of this hole. We are gonna try shallower now. Didn't really mark anything deep. I'm gonna go even farther, farther north here, fish shallower water. See if there's maybe some more fish sitting here in the shallows. It's getting a little colder here. The snow just picked back up. I didn't think it was gonna start for another 30, at least 45 minutes. And nope, picked right back up. Let's go shallower. Let's get dropped down in here. See if there's anything hugging bottom. My reel's pretty frozen. I might have to bring it inside and 
let it sit in the heater for about 10 minutes. It's barely spinning. It's got so much ice on it. It's another thing I just don't like about ice fishing. I love it, but the cold is, it can be brutal to you, especially your equipment. I mean, my camera and stuff, they don't like this cold weather. They do not, especially the batteries. We're about five feet shallower than we were before, if you guys can tell by the graph there. 20 feet is right there, 15, 10, and five, and you know, you guys get it. If you guys don't know how to read one of these graphs and you're a little curious, green means farther away, yellow means closer, red is the closest, but with these newer models, it's actually white is the closest, but you don't really pick up too much white very often. You can kind of see if I put it closer to my deucer here, you might be able to see a little bit of white in the middle there. Smaller the mark, the smaller the fish, the bigger the mark, the bigger the fish. Pretty simple stuff here. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. My reel is barely spinning. I'm gonna head back in the tent and uh, see if maybe we can pull some more fish out of the tent there. I mean, it's not a good spot. I'm marking a lot of fish in there. So we're gonna head in there and we're gonna see if we can maybe mark a few more fish. I wasn't even recording for a second. Oh, he just came right off the bottom. I set down my bait to take a TikTok video and this guy just came right off the bottom. You guys got like half that video and I'm sorry. I was filming a TikTok. I will put it in this video so you guys can see what happened. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, okay. Can't even show off the rest of this video. I was literally filming a TikTok and this guy came up and chomped it right off the bottom. Beautiful fish. She's gonna go right back in the water. For all you guys wondering what we got on here for bait, it is the Acme Rattlemaster Glow Bloody Bug Color and it is a 1 8 ounce. It is my go-to bait for fishing just about anything. I love the color, I love the bait. And it works, let me tell you guys. It works. Let's drop down here, get down to the bottom, start dancing around. See if we can get ourselves another walleye. Oh, I just spooked him. I meant to drop down to him. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yep, that's an aggressive fish right there. Two of them. I thought it was one or two. Give me a little fight there. Definitely, oh, oh, I like the sound of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Here she is, guys. Look at that gold right there. That is a beauty. Absolute beautiful fish right there. Not as big as the last one. She is gorgeous. All right, she is going to go right back in the water. Not going to keep these guys today. Just a little guy. And there she goes. Awesome. I can't believe I just whole hopped for like 25 to 30 minutes outside in the cold. Didn't get a wally. Then all of a sudden I come back in here and then I catch one. As I'm in the nice warm tent, maybe they like it. Maybe they're getting cold out there and they want me to bring them up the hole to them. Man, they're loving it. These walleye are super aggressive too, which is nice. I mean... They're coming in pretty hot, smacking it. It's super, super hot. Let's see it, let's get another one. Still snowing on us. I might have to uh, get back out there and do some more hole hopping. I'm gonna stick around this depth because it seems like these fish really like this depth. They're really liking the 13 or 14 feet, so I might have to stick around this and just kind of hole hop around this exact depth. It's good, the fish like it. If the fish like it, I like it. Oh yeah, that guy came in hot. There we go. Another fish. That's a nice fish too. It's giving me a decent fight. Is it swimming up towards me? Or? Yeah, there we go. That's giving me a good fight right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let this guy fight. This is a nice fish. This is a nice fish. Oh yes. There we go, that's another walleye. 
That's another walleye. Nice one too. Oh my gosh. Oh man, these guys are coming off the bottom and they're chomping it. They love it. And you know what I say? If they love it, I love it. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect hook placement right there. Look at that guys. Another absolute beauty of a walleye. I'm so surprised. New part of the lake I've never fished. Sat on a weed edge, 14 feet of water. They're coming out like crazy. They're loving it and I am loving it. I mean, look at these guys. These guys are awesome. Beautiful, gorgeous fish here. I just can't get over it. All right, she's gonna go right back in the water. And there she goes. Swam off like a charm. This is awesome, guys. This is awesome. I mean, this I couldn't ask for more. Found some good looking drop off, some good weed edges, sat on them. And we caught fish the first time we went out. That is walleye number three. It is starting to snow in us a whole bunch here. Tents getting covered in snow. It's cold. Snow is, snow is, uh, it's good for fishing. I like it. But not when you have your door open so your camera can see you. It's not so fun. It's not fun getting snowed on. It's cold in here. I got a heater going, but I have the door open, so heater doesn't really do too much. But I'm gonna stick it out. I'm the only person really out here. I think there's one other person on this lake. Fish are biting. We're gonna stay out here as long as we need because the fish biting. I'm not leaving. Let's keep going, guys. All right, we're gonna sit outside for a little bit here. I'm about 15 feet to the right of my tent. It's actually a little bit shallower here. Curious to see if there's anything out here. Oh man, these conditions out here are crazy. This snow is gonna pick up a whole bunch. It's gonna get very, very cold soon. There was only one other person on this lake and he left. Must not have been catching fish over there. He was sitting pretty shallow, probably in about seven or eight feet of water. Seems these fish are liking it right here. We're gonna give it about 10 minutes. See if anything wants to come out in 10 minutes. I do got a surprise I'll tell you guys a little bit later in the video. Something new to the channel you guys are gonna like. I've talked about getting it for a while. I'm just gonna say it now. I got no reason to extend it. I'm gonna get, uh, I got live scope coming in in the mail soon. Got the brand new Garmin live scope. The newest model this year's 2022 model. It's coming in. Should be here in a few days, so these next videos are gonna have some live scope. I did it just for you guys. A little bit more entertaining than just the Vexlar. So, hope you guys uh, enjoy those videos. We got a live scope coming. It's gonna be exciting for me too. I can't wait to use it to find some fish. All right, tried it for about 15 minutes. Had no luck. We're gonna head back inside. My reel's frozen again. I'm gonna drill some holes a little shallower actually. See if that makes much difference. See if we can get anything to come off the bottom. Been about 10 minutes now and nothing. Nothing at all. It happens. I keep trying outside, come out here trying to pull some fish out hole hopping and I end up just having better luck inside my nice warm tent. So reel's pretty much frozen again. We're gonna head back inside. We're just gonna kind of fish inside from now on. I mean, I've been out here five, 10 times already tonight. Keep trying new holes, new depths, and nothing. I'm just gonna sit inside there and just keep jigging until something comes up. Got about, probably gonna stay out here another hour. I mean, it's, it's been, we've been out here for a while, and it's been a long time without a bite, so. We're gonna head back inside there, pull something off. Man, it has been a little bit since the last fish. We're probably gonna have to head out of here soon. But I'm just, I mean, I'm glad we got some fish today. I was kind of expecting to get some fish. I mean, with the weather, people don't understand how important weather is when it comes to ice fishing or just fishing in general. The barometric pressure, the atmospheric pressure, whatever you want to call it, it is extremely important for getting fish to bite. So when you have these cold fronts coming in, you have this severe weather coming in, this snowstorm, any kind of change in weather like that, it's gonna drop your atmospheric pressure. And when that drops, the fishing gets so much better. I mean, trust me, if you look at your weather before you go out fishing and you see that there's gonna be a cold front coming in, there's gonna be some weather change, any big weather change like that, or even a snowstorm coming in or some severe weather coming in, if you can fish right before that, 
that bite is gonna be super, super active. Overall, I mean, it is the hardest to fish in that clear, sunny skies. I don't know everything about it. I know just the kind of the gist of it, but I recommend reading more into the barometric pressure and how it affects ice fishing and fishing in general, because if you can get the perfect weather, you can catch a lot more fish. I know a lot of guys who won't even go out fishing at all if the barometric pressure isn't just right or if the weather isn't just right. People like to fish more in the stormy weather than they do the nice sunny skies, and there's a reason for it. I recommend doing some research and figuring out the best times to get out ice fishing because as always, you know, lure is important, baits are important, but the time of day is super important. The barometric pressure drops in the morning, comes back up during the day when it's hot, and then drops again at night. So I'm thinking we're gonna fish here for maybe about 10 more minutes and call it a day. It has been pretty slow in the last few hours. We reached that peak bite time at about 8, 8.30, and now it is not gonna start again until probably about six in the morning. Gonna have to head out here soon. It's been about another 30 minutes. It's getting really late. So I'm probably gonna have to call it a video. Wasn't as much content as I would have liked. First thing I wanna do before I head out though, I'm gonna bounce my bait off the bottom. I do this a lot and I've actually done really well for fish, just kind of bouncing it off the bottom. It sounds really dumb, like why would you want your bait to actually touch the bottom? But when it hits the bottom, it stirs it all up. You know, you're hitting the bottom and bringing it back up, hitting the bottom and bringing it back up. If you keep doing that and you're gonna stir the bottom up a whole bunch and you'll have those curious fish come in. I've had this happen with walleye where I've hit the bottom a whole bunch and all of a sudden, boom, here comes a walleye. You're gonna get those curious fish that are coming in to look at, you know, why is the bottom stirred up? Is there another fish here? Is there some bait fish here? They're curious as to why the bottom stirred up. So they come in from afar or they could just be pretty close by. You're just not marking them and they come right in and boom, got a fish you can catch right there. So sometimes I like to stir up the bottom a little bit and uh, see if any curious fish come in to see what's going on. And uh, if they do, I try to catch them just like that. Stir it up, have a fish come in, wondering, you know, what's going on out here? Why is it all, why is it all stirred up? And if you can get those curious fish to come in, you might be able to get them to bite. Just another fish you wouldn't have caught. The things you learn, I mean, you can really never learn it all. So I like to learn new things, learn new tactics. And every day I keep learning something new and I try to share that with you guys. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I can't really fit it all in one video, but I try to kind of space it through all my videos teach a few new things that I've learned across the 19 years I've been alive and share that with you guys to hopefully help you catch some more fish. I think we're gonna have to get out of here. It has been, uh, it's been a while since our last fish. I mean, it isn't the prime time to catch fish anyway. So we are going to call it a video. Hope you guys did enjoy. As always, subscribe if you guys are new, but new videos three times a week, as I said before. I try to make each video better than the last. And uh, today was a pretty short video, I'm not gonna lie. Not ideally how I liked it to go, um, but it's all right. We caught fish. I'm not a big fan of fishing inside an ice tent. I like making my videos outside, but this weather, which made the fish bite, is also what is making it a pain to fish outside. I got a fish that just came off the bottom right there. I don't even have a bait on my spoon. It's just gonna be a pure spoon, but whatever. That fish might've came in because I was stirring up the bottom. Something just came in as you guys saw that. Something came in. He was probably wondering what's going on on the bottom there. Haven't had anything on my graph for an hour. Started staring up the bottom and sure enough, like I said, we're going to see if we can get this guy. Otherwise, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. As I said before, we got live scope coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video in two days. Peace out.